Mat time na! It's me, Teacher Jane, and to welcome to my channel! Interesado ka sa subject ko? Please don't hesitate to click the subscribe button and click that notification bell para updated ka sa next uploads ko. For today's topic, we will be discussing about measures of central tendency and group data. Math 7, fourth quarter, week 3. Objectives. The learners illustrates the measures of central tendency of statistical data, the mean, median, and mode. In our previous lessons, you were given ideas on how to collect, organize, and present data. Once data are collected, you still need to describe and analyze some numbers that will tell you something about the data. Getting the measure of central tendency will provide you more information about the given data. A measure of central tendency is either the average, the middle value, or the most frequent value in the given set of data. So, pag sinabi nating measure of central tendency, it all uh, it talks about the center or the middle score the mean or the arithmetic average is the most popular or the most commonly used this is the sum of all numbers in the set divided by the number of values n so yung symbol natin na summation of x divided by n so that is the uh, that is how we get the mean or the arithmetic average. And the symbol for mean is X and then bar sa taas. Example, find the mean of the following data. Again, to solve for the mean, first step is you are going to add all the values. And then, second step is divide them by the number of values. In this case, what is our N? So, our N is, so you are going to count the values in the given data. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, we have 8. So, N is equal to 8. Now, let's solve. First, let's add the given values. 3 plus 9 plus 12 plus 5 plus 6 plus 12 plus 17 plus 8. The sum is equal to 72. And then divided by the number of n, which is 8. So 72 divided by 8, our mean is equal to 9. Okay, let's have another example. Find Toti's average grade for the four grading periods in Math 7 whose first is 84, second 86, third 87, and fourth is 91. What is the mean? So first, add natin yung scores. 84 plus 86 plus 87 plus 91 is equal to 348. And then divide it by 4 kasi 4 grading period. So the answer is 87. Next, we have median. Median is the middle scores for a set of data that has been arranged from highest to lowest or lowest to highest. And the symbol for median is this. Example, find the median of the following sets of scores. First step, arrange them from least 
to greatest. So here, the least score is 9 and the highest score is 30. Then look for the middle score. Here, the middle score is 15. So therefore, the median is Another example, find the median of the following grades of students in statistics examination. Again, arrange the scores from least to greatest. So here, the least is 64 and the highest is 87. As you can see, we have two middle scores, 79 and 80. So we add the two middle scores divided by 2, we will get 79.5 or 79.50 as middle score or median. Next is the mode. Mode is the value with the most number of frequency. And the symbol for the mode is this. When we say mode, ito yung uh, values na may pinakamaraming beses na lumabas sa isang dataset. Example, what is the mode in the given dataset? 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 8, 10. Since 5 appears twice in the given dataset, then the mode is 5. Now let's try this example. Find the mode in each data set. Again, you're going to look for the value of a number. You're going to look for a number that appears more frequently in the given set. So in A, B, and C, what are the numbers or the values that appears the most? Now let's see if your answers are correct. So, in A, 7 appears 3 times, so therefore the mode is 7. In letter B, we have 80 and 83. 80 appears twice, 83 also appears twice. So therefore our mode are 80 and 83. We call this as bimodal. Next, in letter C, Meron ba tayong number na nag-appear ng dalawang beses o mahigit pa? So, there is none. So, therefore, our mode is none. Hindi po zero ang ilalagay, ha? None. So, let's have a short recap about our lesson. Mean, also known as arithmetic average, wherein you just add the total scores and then divide it by the number of values in the given data set. Median is the middle score itself. If the, if the counting is odd, uh, the middle score is the median. If the counting is even, then the median is the two middle scores divided by two, that is the median. But make sure that the given data set is arranged first from least to greatest for you to identify the middle score. And then the third one is the mode. Mode is the set of value that appears more frequently. Ito yung marami or mas marami ang nakakuha. Mas marami ang scores. Mode is the set of value that appears more frequently. Kung sino yung pinaka maraming beses na lumabas na score. If it happens na meron tayong dalawang score na parehas ang bilang uh, sa, sa ating data set, then silang dalawa ang ating mode at tinatawag natin ito by modal. Kapag ang uh, ang given set ay walang o walang nauulit na, na score, then 
we have no mode. That ends our lesson today. Kung nagustuhan nyo ang video na to, please don't hesitate to click the like button and subscribe to this channel. Please click also that notification bell para maging updated ka sa susunod kong upload. And as promised, I want to shout out uh, my friendship, uh, Blessy Makabale, Kadapan, kamusta ka dyan sa, sa summer? Mag-ingat ka pala. And also to my NEU, New Era University, BSE Mathematics Classmates. Uh, shout out po sa inyong lahat. Siyempre, ang aking mga co-teachers and students of PNHS sa Klaran, Ipanayake, a shout out po sa inyong lahat. Stay safe, everyone. And also, uh, Corona Camp, Balloons Family, and Team Wagas. Stay safe po sa inyong lahat.